hello guys welcome back to my channel it's another beautiful day so guys guess what in today's video we are dipping into another realistic story time of my life so guys if you're new here you are welcome if you're my old subscriber you are welcome so guys let's dive into this video hello guys so we are back again so guys today i'm going to tell you a story <laughs> that i did i don't regret though okay let me dive straight to it so, guys, so i'm sharing this story because of what i have gone through so i was dating this guy i did this guy for like a couple of months and he was such a caring and good guy but one thing i noticed and before i met this guy it, it was through a friend we went for a friend's party so i met this guy and it was so good so romantic everything that i did this guy gave to me so i started asking this guy for a couple of money for you know we ladies we need to buy creams we need to buy stuff like shopping you know everything so i wanted to ask him so anytime i ask him for money this guy will be denying me or like i don't have money jenny i don't have money you know i'm building house you know i'm doing this you know i'm doing blah blah you know i'm like he he has been giving me excuse so i was like whoa so anytime this guy wants calls me you know what he's thinking he's thinking about that thing that chop chop but he doesn't want to pay i was like seriously you don't want to pay you don't want to give your girlfriend money but you want to chop for free why are you so stingy i was like don't be doing this so i realized this is too much since i'm going on so much how can you be stingy with your girl whilst you have money with you so i was like okay i know what to do i know what i'm going to do with this guy so what one day he called me like i should come to the house and i went to the house i was like oh my god so when i went to the house i saw him putting money at a certain place because he when he's hiding his money he didn't let me know but this time i think he forgot i was in the room with him so he put that money and um i was about to leave so he gave me some money he was like jenny leave and um i'm going to work so i left and i i left to my house so he didn't call me was dropping i don't know what was happening but his karen was dropping so i i sat down i i thought about myself i was like no i have to figure out how i'm going to deal with this guy because i think he's doing something that i don't know so anytime i ask him and he'll be like no but when he needs me in his house he wants to when he wants me to come then he will give me some chop chop money he doesn't give me a lot so i was like okay i know what to do i'm not a thief though but i'm speaking it out i'm speaking i'm being real here in my story so one day he didn't call me like for like two months he don't check up on me anymore he don't care about me anymore so about two months this guy called me was like jenny i want you to come to the house i need to talk to you blah blah but i knew he wanted something but he you know when a man needs something he will try anything possible to let you visit him so i was like okay i'll be coming so um what time i took the time and everything so i was like okay i'll be there so i went there and immediately um we talked we have fun we watch tv and when i was about to leave he was like okay i'm going to bath so after the bath i'm going to talk to you and i was like okay then um i think that's fine so when he went to the bathroom i stole money don't say i'm a thief don't say i'm a beautiful thief i'm not a beautiful thief i was like I, I can't cope with a stingy man anymore i can't cope i'm doing everything to you washing you know cooking for you why will you be stingy with a woman like this a woman like this why will you even be stingy to her so i move in and i saw that wow this guy has a sold a lot of money i'm not saying go and steal your has your boyfriend money because some men are, are ugly truths you know they're gonna disgrace you so when i saw the money you know i didn't even count i just pull it out like this guys i didn't count it and put it in my bag so after he finished bathing he came he was like jennifer okay and i told him i want to go so he gave me my money then i left so after i left when i got home i started counting the money that i pulled jesus is lord it not be small money that i stole oh. hey. guys it not be small money i was like wow jenny <laughs> so when i 
count that money so i told my friend rita i had that time i was friend with rita i was like rita this is what i do when i count the money at that time like i think 2011 somewhere 2011 so i started counting the money and i told rita that time that money was two million in ghana cities if you at that time when you steal someone's two million you will go for jail you go to jail and that money was huge money so i told rita rita was like wow he deserve it bring me some or bring me some when, anytime go you know where the money is bringing i think one thing i noticed is that he has a lot of money and he doesn't count but i don't know if he noticed or he didn't notice i don't know because i always uh, take the money out of it so he didn't call me again for like another month like another tomorrow like this is your character so i have to know how to play with you <laughs> guys <laughs> so when he calls me i went back again and i went and searched that place unfortunately he has taken the that the money from that place and hidden it another way so i was searching for and i noticed it's the money from that place to another bag so i took it again i didn't count because when you're stealing you don't have to be count so i took it like the boom again this one this time i make sure i take it much i pull a lot of money from the bag so i took that money and i put it in my bag after he came i told him i want to leave we talked we we, we we left i left and i went home so within three days this guy called me jenny how are you i'm fine jenny i miss you as i miss you he's like jenny something is bothering me oh i was like what i was like jenny when i go to work that i put money there i when i come home some has, uh, uh, the money has reduced i don't know and i was like do you tell me where you put your money i don't know where you put your money so don't please don't tell me why are you telling me you call me every month you call me month month why are you call? because he was like you came here three days ago so i have to ask you i was like baby your girlfriend those so-called girlfriend of yours took it so call them and ask them don't call me if you have nothing to say please don't call me again abram then i ended the call and that day do you know how much i took i took 10 million 10 million old currency ghana cities anyone who knows what i'm saying it's a heavy money and he gave me additional two million to that so it was 12 million so he lost a huge amount of money so he was complaining i was like please it's, i didn't take your money and i don't even know where you have put your money so please don't even ask me so i was like okay within three months i didn't hear from him again and another man he called me was like jenny i want to see you i was like this is your character what is wrong with you if you don't love someone you don't need to stay with the person why would you even be calling me in terms of when you need to have something with me that is where you call me so please i will not be coming any it was like jenny has changed is that it was like i was busy those days I, if you are busy you don't call me you don't do anything so that doesn't mean you are busy just that you are tired and you don't want to see me close anytime you need that your pain you just call me i was like i'm not coming i was like oh jenny come i'll give you money you know he has money so he wants to bribe me with money i was like okay oh me i told rita i was like rita this guy has come again oh he's calling me so what should i do I was like ah then you know the business now <laughs> business now i was like okay let's go so i went back we talk we chat we have fun we watch videos together we, you know we went to a restaurant we ate and we went home we bra bra you know everything and after he was like i'm going to bath he loved bathing you know so when he went to bath he was like okay so i'm going to give you a surprise so when i went to where he put his money so for unfortunately the money wasn't there he didn't put it there again so i was searching until i found out that he was coming so i rushed and went and sit down so when he comes like jennifer i'm sorry for whatever i've done now i'm serious i'm damn serious please let's stay let's live together i was like no i don't think i'm gonna live with you so anything that you want if you need me please don't call me again so what do you want give me money and let me leave because i'm not joking with my money although we are dating i'm not joking with my money give me money i'm a, who don't love money every woman would love money so i'm being real here you can drop any comment you want so i took my money was like today i have sp something special for you he called 10 million i was like jesus is not today i didn't get you to steal so you have repent maybe he knew i was the one talking the money and he didn't want to say anything you know some guys are like that they don't want to make you feel offended so 
I took the money and I left and it came to my that time I was doing mobile money transfer if you want credit I send to you if you want credit you buy I take it through so he came back and was like Jenny I want you and Rita was there that uh, particular the Rita was there Rita was started and Rita was like see this stingy man so Rita was like you why are you so stingy why is when jennifer come you give him small amount of money but you have money well like how do you know that i have money i don't have money i was like do you remember your money that gets lost i'm the one taking it i remember you called me you asked me oh jenny why do you do that you stole my money i was like i didn't stole because you are stingy you are dating a woman and when the woman wants something you don't give it to him but when you need something you give it to me so let me be real here i stole your money so please it's not stealing anymore i took your money I was like, okay, you are forgive you, so let's go. And I was like, no, I'm not dating that stingy type of man again. And if this stingy type of man, if you marry, you suffer in life. So I don't want to say, did I beg you? I was like, no. So that is where I started. I realized that money is not anything. I should just let him go because a man who loves you, who cares for you, will do everything for you. Whether you, he has or he doesn't has, he will try anything possible to make it up to you. So I quit my relationship with him and I find my place. Started doing my transfer my money and my my work i started doing my money and everything went on smoothly till now so um i was once a thief in a relationship trust me i was one a thief with because i wasn't thief like i'm not personally a silly person like i don't steal i'm not i'm wrong i don't have sharp hands but but for that particular guy, I stole him a lot. And um, I don't regret stealing from him because he was such a stingy. I'm not advising anyone to go and steal his or a partner money. But I'm trying to tell you what I went through and how, why I took the money. But if you are if you are stealing a boyfriend money or husband money, please stop. It will never help you. It's not good for you. Any story that I tell you, I have a good side, I have a bad side. The bad side is please don't do it don't do it and the good side is please never try it okay never try it's not healthy to steal your partner if he doesn't give you just find your way and go so guys i hope you enjoyed this story if you enjoyed this video and you want more please kindly subscribe like share and be part of this family for more interesting videos like this see you on my next upload bye